Hello students, today you will learn about the topic dividing 5 digit or 6 digit numbers by 2 digit numbers from chapter 3. Let's start by trying to solve some questions from exercise 5. Let's solve question number 1a. In question number 1a, we have to divide 43869 by 33. So in this question, we will divide 5 digit number by 2 digit number. At first, we compare the digits. We directly compare the leftmost 2 digits of the dividend with the divisor because the divisor has 2 digits. Now since 43 is greater than 33, so the next step is to do the division. So we have to find the product of 33 which is equal to or less than and nearest to the number 43. We get the nearest product as 33. So we write 1 in the question because 33 multiplied by 1 is 33. And then we subtract 33 from 43 which is equal to 10. Now we bring down the next digit that is 8. We now compare 108 and 33. Since 108 is greater than 33, so we have to find the product of 33 which is equal to or less than and nearest to 108. We get the nearest product as 99. So we write 3 in the quotient because 33 multiplied by 3 is 99. And then we subtract 99 from 108 which is equal to 9. Now again we bring down the next digit that is 6 and then we compare 96 and 33. Since 96 is greater than 33, now again we look for a product of 33 which is equal to or less than and nearest to 96. The nearest product is 66. So we write 2 in the quotient because 33 multiplied by 2 is 66. And then we subtract 66 from 96, which is equal to 30. Now we bring down the next digit that is 9, and then we compare 309 and 33. 309 is greater than 33, so we find the product of 33, which is equal to or less than and nearest to 309. The nearest product is 297. So we write 9 in the question because 33 multiplied by 9 is 297. And then we subtract 297 from 309 which is equal to 12. Now since there are no more digits to bring down, we can stop the division here. So when we divide 43869 by 33, we get the question as 1329 and the remainder as 12. Now let's solve number C of question number 1. In question number C, we have to divide 8,37,910 by 72. So in this question, we will divide 6 digit number by 2 digit number. So at first, we compare the digits. We directly compare the leftmost two digits of the dividend with the divisor because the divisor has two digits. And since 83 is greater than 72, so the next step is to do the division. Now, we have to find the product of 72 which is equal to or less than and nearest to the number 83. We get the nearest product as 72. So we write 1 in the question because 72 multiplied by 1 is equal to 72. And then we subtract 72 from 83 which is equal to 11. Now we bring down the next digit that is 7. We now compare 117 and 72. Since 117 is greater than 72, so we have to find the product of 72 which is equal to or less than and nearest to 117. So again we get the nearest product as 72. So we write 1 in the question because 72 multiplied by 1 is equal to 72. And then we subtract 
72 from 117 which is equal to 45. Now again we bring down the next digit that is 9. So now we compare 459 and 72. Since 459 is greater than 72, we find a product of 72 which is equal to or less than and nearest to 459. We get the nearest product as 432. So we write 6 in the equation because 72 multiplied by 6 is equal to 432. And then we subtract 432 from 459 which is equal to 27. Now we bring down the next digit that is 1. And then we compare 271 and 72. Since 271 is greater than 72, so we have to find a product of 72 which is equal to or less than and nearest to 271. We get the nearest product as 216. So we write 3 in the equation because 72 multiplied by 3 is equal to 216. And then we subtract 216 from 271 which is equal to 55. Now we bring down the next digit that is 0. And then we compare 550 and 72. Since 550 is greater than 72, we find the product of 72 which is equal to or less than and nearest to 550. We get the nearest product as 504. So we write 7 in the equation because 72 multiplied by 7 is equal to 504. And then we subtract 504 from 550 which is equal to 46. Now since there are no more digits to bring down, we can stop the division. So when we divide 8,37,910 by 72, we get the quotient as 11,637 and the remainder as 46. That's all for today. Thank you.